Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's February 3rd. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with David Yun from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. David, thanks for being here this week. Uh, as we talked last week, supply in the muni market was very low this week. Issuers uh, chose to delay their deals to avoid any kind of volatility stemming from the economic data, and there was a lot of that. What did you see? Yeah, so on Wednesday, uh, Fed Day, the Fed hiked its Fed funds rate by 25 basis points um, to 4.5% um, to 4 and 3 quarters percent. Um, that was actually expected. The market was pricing that in. Um, and so while still an increase from the last Fed day, um, we have now seen slower tightening in two consecutive meetings. Uh, you know, going on to Powell's speech, uh, he began his session by declaring that um, increases will still be appropriate to return to the Fed's mandate of 2% inflation over time. Uh, and the nature of those hikes will be data dependent. However, you know, the market likes to dig into what he um, says sometimes, and he did give investors a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel, um, mentioning that inflation has eased somewhat, but still in, uh, still elevated. Um, that actually led to, you know, a bit of a rally in um, uh, across the markets after he said that. So uh, investors are clearly, you know, picking at what he's saying and also trying to almost front run that, um, similar to what we saw uh, kind of at the end of last year. And then uh, this morning, Friday morning, uh, we got some of that data that he said he was waiting for and everything changed. What did it show? Right. Well, you know, the jobs number really beat in a big way. Um, the non-farm payrolls came in at 517,000. That was versus in expectations of 188,000. Um, unemployment rate dropped to 3.4% versus expected 3.6%. Um, we're actually, you know, at a call it 50 year low right now on the unemployment rate. Um, and then lastly, uh, what Powell uh, has emphasized in the last few meetings is um, the wage growth, right? So with uh, that number in line with expectations at, you know, about 0.3% month over month, um, the Fed will continue to monitor that, monitor that number uh, and see how it, it affects inflation. And we'll see, obviously, um, the uh, um, markets uh, responded by that by pretty much reversing that rally that they'd put in place uh, earlier in the week. Right. Yeah. So right now, the uh, Treasury yields are sitting, uh, the 10 year sitting at about 3.54%, uh, and the 30 years at about 365. Um, equities earlier this morning sold off and have pretty much recovered um, by the time that you know we're talking right now. Um, so again, some may argue that uh, you know, bonds um, shouldn't have rallied in the first place. And, you know, we're kind of at the point in the market where um, you have both bulls and bears and, you know, that's what makes the market. And kind of back to that theme that this year could be marked by volatility, but not necessarily a long-term trend either way in rates. Right. So how did that, uh, how did that translate back? As we said, the uh, new issue market was extremely quiet this week, still quiet next week with just about $4 billion on the calendar. Uh, anything stand out to you in terms of BAM's activity? Yeah, uh, you know, light week this week, 1.9 billion in supply. Um, you know, that's two consecutive weeks of really light supply. Uh, but for us at BAM, uh, we insured nine transactions for 75 million of par. Uh, we got some nice activity out west, uh, two that I want to highlight. One is a $11 million Paris ESD California deal. Um, that was two series led by RBC and a $7 million Eastmark CFD number one Arizona deal. Uh, again, two series, and that one was led by Stiefel. Um, just going on to next week, when we look at the supply again, it continues to be muted. Um, we're going to have about $4.5 billion uh, so far on the calendar for next week. Um, and, you know, I think everybody in the muni market is hoping for a little bit of a pickup, uh, given that supply has been really low and uh, demand's actually been pretty pretty good so far. Very good. Well, thanks for your time today, David. We'll uh, talk to you soon. All right. Thanks.